Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a curriculum review for you. I'm going to look at the history curriculum called The Story of the World. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Marika and I live with my hubby Greg on the west coast of Australia. And we have four gorgeous children who we are homeschooling. We have Will who's in grade seven, we have Em who's in grade three, Cruz is in grade one and little Jackson is in kindergarten. We are on to our third year of homeschooling here in the Lake House Homeschool and we are absolutely loving it. And here on my channel, I, I share our homeschool journey with you. I just show you all of the curriculum that we are using and any other interesting curriculum that I come across. We also have some daily vlogs and family travel vlogs and things like that. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Just click that red subscribe button down below. And if you would like notifications on when I post, just hit the bell button. Generally, my videos come out on a Monday and I also do book flip throughs as well and they come out on Fridays. Now we love history here in our house and the curriculum that we have been using from day one to teach curriculum, uh, to teach history is the story of the world history curriculum. And we do really enjoy this curriculum. We are on volume three, uh, which is the early modern times. So in today's video, I will give you a look inside the curriculum and also show you the other resources that you can buy, um, like the companion resources that uh, you can buy that goes along with the book um, so that you can have a look at this curriculum for yourself. So enough of me talking, let's get into showing you what this curriculum looks like. All right, so let's take a closer look at this curriculum. Now, as I said, we are on volume three and we have used uh, volume one and volume two before. I don't have my uh, volume number one book because I have lent it to somebody, but I do have my uh, volume two book. And there's uh, four books in this series. So it starts off with uh, volume one which is um, Ancient Times. And then uh, volume two is The Middle Ages. And then volume three is Early Modern Times. And then the last one, volume four, is looking at the modern age. So how this uh, curriculum is designed with the four books, that you would work through the four books. Uh, here in our house, it takes us one year to work through uh, one volume. So we would do that for four years. And then it's designed that you go back to the very beginning and work through it uh, one more time. So the idea is by the time you've worked through the four and you get back, your children are older so they're going to get more out of it by reading the second time than what you did uh, doing the first time so it's designed that you would go back and do um, all of the volumes again now the story of the world is written by Susan Wise Bauer uh, which is part of the uh, well-trained mind and she has her own uh, website for this and there's various different places that you can buy uh, the curriculum. So I will link uh, the well-trained mind um, in the description box down below and also another source where you can uh, pick this up where I, where I was able to purchase mine from. So today we're going to look at uh, volume three. Now, when I did uh, volume one, the very first year we were homeschooling, all we had was the book. And all I simply did was read a chapter aloud to the children. And I didn't have any of the other accompanying books with it. So all we did is I would read aloud from the book and then we would do recitation. So at the time, my son was the oldest so um, and my daughter was only in grade one. So mainly my son would do the work that goes um, along with it at that stage. So I would read a chapter aloud to them and then they would do a recitation back to me so they would tell me what it is that they learnt from the story and then we would do a notebooking page. Now sometimes we would do it, sometimes we wouldn't. We would just do the um, read aloud and the recitation 
Uh, but we would do a notebooking page where they would draw a picture about what it is we we're talking about and just write some interesting facts on that picture. And then often uh, we would go and look for a video to watch on YouTube as well that would go along with what we were talking about. And that's simply all that we did for the very first year. And then when I did a volume two, I did actually purchase um, the activity book, which I'm going to show you. Now, the activity book um, for volume two, I actually purchased a PDF download um, and I would just have it on my computer and I didn't print it off. I would just print off pages as I needed it. So I bought the book and I bought the um the activity book but I kept it on my computer and just printed pages as I need it. Now this year we are on to volume three um, and we are using this in our co-op and we actually found um, this uh, second hand. So we were able to purchase all of these things as a package deal from somebody second hand um, who lived close by us so we didn't have to pay shipping um, either. So that was really really great. So that's why I have got everything that um, I can show you because we were able to purchase it second hand um, which was really really great so um, there's lots of places where you can just just purchase the book if you do want the extras that go along with it there's lots of different options you can try and find them second hand you can purchase them brand new or you can purchase them as a PDF download and just print as you need so how the curriculum works is you have your uh, storybook which you read aloud to the children from then has this activity book which obviously comes with different activities you can do based on the chapters you have read and then it also has this uh, book as well which is a test and answer key now you can buy all of these individually if you want if you just wanted to go just with the book route you don't have to purchase all of these together so there's definitely di different options that you can go with using this curriculum okay so let's take a closer look at each of these. So the book is just set out um, into chapters um, and it reads just like a story. So we use we are fairly Charlotte Mason based in our um, home school and so this works perfectly um, into that. So it has all of the chapters here um, of what they're talking about and then it is told um, as a story and written beautifully for children to understand. It really is uh, quite engaging. My children do really enjoy it. So it has text. It also has maps in the book um, as well, talking about the different regions um, that you are looking at. And then it'll also have um, sometimes some just some black and white uh, illustrations as well is in the book. All right, so you would read um, aloud to the children a chapter from the book and then you can go in and do some activities from the activity book. So let me show you inside how this works. So, all right, so we've got all of our chapters here um, on the contents page um, to help you out. We just use a bookmark as we are going through. Uh, so this is designed for you to uh, photocopy uh, pages. And so that's why I chose to, instead of buying the book last time, um, just having the PDF download because I could read. Um, and then when I needed, instead of photocopying, I could print off pages that I needed. All right, so let's just have a uh, look at an example of the activities that they have. So this is for uh, chapter one. It's looking at a world of empires. So after you have uh, read aloud from this book, it then has a list of review questions that you can ask your children. It has the questions and it also has the answers written there as well, which is fantastic. So it has a list of questions and then it has a narration um, exercise. So it has two paragraphs here. So they don't have to write both. You can just choose one. So we would read aloud, we would do the review questions, and then we would do a narration exercise. So I would simply just print this off and then my children can copy it um, that way. Um, or you can do it as dictation. You can read it aloud and the children can write um, as you are reading. Um, and so, yeah, it has your review questions and then your narration exercise and then another set of questions and another uh, 
narration because in each chapter it's kind of broken into two chunks. So they break it down um, for the children, which is really, really great. Then you have here, you have some additional um, history reading. If you wanted to deep dive into any of the uh, subjects that were looked at in that chapter, they give you some great um, places that you can go and have a look. Then after that, we also have map work. So not only we're we looking at history, we are also looking at geography as well, which is great. And so they have here, uh, you, I'll show you the maps, but they have here, um, this one's got five. It's got five things to do on your map. So this one says, Charles inherited the thrones of the Netherlands, Spain, and Germany. Outline the borders borders of these countries in purple, then lightly shade each country in purple. And it'll give you the um, instructions. And then at the back of the book, it has all of the maps and activities that go along with it. So these pages are perforated, so you can pull them out and then photocopy um, for however many children you are working with. This is not the map that goes with the one that I just read you, but this is just an example of what the map looks like. And then they give you instructions of what to do with that map. Then after the mapping section, they also include a colouring in page um, with each chapter. So if you've got younger learners, what you can do is print out the colouring in page and they can be colouring in while you're reading aloud to them. I know my children like to do that because they like to have, um, my younger children like to have something to do while I'm reading. So it's great that they include their own colouring page. And then after that is a list of projects that you can do to go along with each chapter. And these are fantastic. Again, any sheets that you need for these projects are located in the back of the book, which I'll show you later. Um, but it goes through different projects that you can do to go along with what you've read. So you can choose to do one, um, none, all of them, whatever you like. This is a curriculum that uh, you make it work for you. So usually what we do is the we, we we read aloud, we do the review questions, we do the narration, we do the map work and the colouring in page and every now and then we might do an, um, one of the projects um, that are included. So for example for this chapter the projects are they have a math activity um, um, which is included there and all of the steps. They have a craft activity here, make Spanish doubloons and it uh, gives you a list of instructions and things that you will need to make those. And then there's a game activity, steal the Spanish treasure and it uh, goes through the things that you will need um, to make that game. Um, and then uh, another activity here is make a mine shaft. And again, that's creating, um, creating a mine shaft, which is awesome. So towards the back um, of this book is where all of the student pages are located. So all this front section is all the questions, the project descriptions and things like that. And then at the back, we have the student pages. Now these pages are perforated, so you can take them out and photocopy them as you need it. Now, as I said, we purchased our um, copy secondhand. And so some of the pages were already removed and the lady that sold uh, those this to us had kept those pages neatly. So we've just popped them in the file here. You can see that um, we have taken them out to uh, photocopy them. So we've located them um, in this file. So these just have all of the uh, pages all in order, um, the student pages that you will need. And so I'll just give you a quick example um, of what they are. So here you can see this is where we've taken out all the um, pages that have been used so far. But here is a copy um, of, oh, sorry, there's a fly. Here is a copy of um, a map for a map activity. Here is an example of a colouring in page. And then any other um, sheets that are needed for those activities that are listed um, in the book. So anything that you need, they have provided in this section and then you can just take them out um, and photocopy them as you need them.
And then it also comes with a test and answer key book as well. And this is really simple. It's just um, has a test for each of the chapters. Uh, we have not used this um, as yet, um, but it's just simple uh, fill in the blanks and multiple choice. Um, and so there's, it's two pages per, per chapter. So you could um, choose to use this to uh, just to see how your children are retaining knowledge. It's great to pop one of these every now and then, uh, get your children to complete them and you can put them into their portfolio uh, for your moderator to see, um, things like that. So all through here is the test that you would just photocopy for your children. And then at the back is the the answer uh, key as well. So it has all the answers uh, to those tests. Now, this curriculum is great for all ages. It is designed um, for uh, primary school um, and probably maybe the lower years of high school. And I use it with all of my children. So from high school right down uh, to pre-primary, my kids were listening to this. So the younger children will listen to the story read aloud, do the colouring in page and the map work. And then the older children will do um, the same. They will... Uh, do the listen to the read aloud they will do the review questions they will do narration and map work and every now and then we throw in a fun activity and we also add youtube videos as well uh, when we are um doing a chapter so if it's a chapter uh, for example we're just reading about the uh, mayflower uh, ship coming to america and so we'll just jump online and watch a video um, on that as well which is always fun to do and so yeah this curriculum is great for all ages and also family style so we uh, do love family style learning here in our homeschool i love curriculum that i can sit down with all of my children and we can work on it together no matter what age they are and then the activities, I just tailor them for the different age. So definitely um, great uh, family style. And it is value for money as well. As I said, you've got different options that you can use to purchase a curriculum. You can just go with the book um, or you can find the curriculum secondhand. You can buy it brand new. Um, but I think the best way is buying the book and then getting this book as a PDF download, which is a lot cheaper than buying a hard copy book. And then you can just print out pages as you go. And so it's definitely um, very, very affordable. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope that you found that helpful. If you have any questions at all, just leave a comment in the comments box down below for me. And also check out the links in the description box down below. I will have links to where you can purchase uh, the curriculum from. And I also have links to uh, my other playlists for my channel, my homeschool playlist, my book review uh, playlist, and our family vlog uh, playlist as well. So make sure you check out those videos. And if you haven't already subscribed just hit that red subscribe button down below that would really help me out thank you so much for watching my video today and i will see you next time bye